How is it? Not this. I hint notes of pineapple, mm. of carbonation. Pineapple. Well, how is it? Who lives at pineapple under the sea? <sighs> SpongeBob Square. I can hear you. They said you couldn't normally reach. This is a load of barnacles. I heard that. Mark. <laughs> 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 He said, I'm pooping. You have to put that in. I'm pooping. No gore. I think we're just doing like a life update is what it sounds like. I think so too. We haven't been on in a second. We took a little hiatus because we're on tour. You all decided to hate us for a second. Oh yeah. (laughs) Yeah, very rude. We were definitely, I mean, I think we were spiraling for many reasons. I was having a mini spiral. We just, we've been handling our shit. Yeah. It's been a lot. Put together a full-blown pride tour. Hello. Let's celebrate that. You've been dealing with your name change situation, which... Crazy. <laughs> Literally, so we did DragCon and you, then... Okay, no, you did DragCon. Right. I've done DragCon yeah. many years, and every time I used to do it, I would get deathly ill. It's just never... There's always a drama. The one time Tyra was going to blow up the building with a timer. I love when Tyra did that. Tyra is the complete bitch. I know it was like problematic, obviously, but what? I'm Honey. sorry. <laughs> and she's like, we're tired from That's drag. That's funny as hell. What is she, was the timer? A what couple did she say? Boom. It's like boom. <laughs> a couple years ago, if you guys don't know, Tyra Sanchez, the season two winner of RuPaul's Drag Race. I don't remember. I forget what, even what was happened. going on, but there was some sort of drama within the fandom or with Ru or World of Wonder or something was going on. Oh, I think Tyra posted an obituary of um, Morgan, Morgan McMichaels, Michaels. which is also. <laughs> That is so funny. Well, I actually recently got tagged that someone posted an obituary of me. She died. <laughs> Great. So I'm. it's that level on Twitter. People are posting my obituary. So I think Tyra posted that and then everyone like, I guess, came for her. And then she Why posted. Why did she do that? Well, I think they had drama on Drag Race. So I guess she was trying to like re... Bring it up. I don't know. Me either. But yeah, and then she like basically threatened to bomb DragCon and had a... But like, not like in her, those words, but in a way she was like... She I think was like, she... have fun. Yeah, like, have it fun was at DragCon. Like something very like... It was something incog- spooky. Yeah. yeah. And then... Her, go, uh, like read go, between the lines vibes. Yeah, and then you go on her website and it said boom with a countdown with a to DragCon. Countdown to DragCon. Boom. That's iconic. I'm I sorry. remember being a, like a little nervous, being like, "Ooh!" <laughs> I was there. I was like, "She's not doing anything." That was a moment of drag con that happened. I used to do. I did it maybe three years. It's brutal work. I mean, personally, I had the most amazing time at drag con because you're that kind of girl. Ooh. I love talking to people. And See, you love talking to people. I got to like DJ with RuPaul for a second. She and loves I you. Got to, and yeah, I got to key with her, and we were just dying laughing, which I love laughing with her. Mm-hmm. Got to do a fashion photo review panel, which is oh, fun. Oh God, don't. Don't mention uh, that the words. to me. Yeah. We decided to film every episode of Fashion Photo Review in three days. Well, they offered it to us. They offered it. They were like, yeah, do you want to film Fashion Photo Review? I was like, yes, let's, me and Mick will do it. It'll be cute. It'll be fun. So fun. Let's take three days that we don't have off. Yeah, literally. And devote them to Fashion Photo Review. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Which, now looking back, I regret it. How many it. episodes was it? 12? It's 12 episodes in three in days. In three days. So 12 looks. It was crazy chaotic. And you don't want to be judging someone else's fashion, which is what the job is in clothes that you don't feel cute in either. So we, th- mm. I mean, I threw together 12 looks. When Fashion Photo Review came out, literally everyone had a I honestly, panic attack. I don't even, like, you guys can keep it. Like, I don't care. Have the show. Like, everyone's amazing. Like, they asked me to do it. I shouldn't have said yes, clearly. A hundred percent. It's like... The other thing is that with the internet, you just can't... There's no winning or losing. It's like, people are upset. Yeah. People are fucking pissed about everything. I no know. matter what. If we but were if we were like everyone's great, they'd be like, they're too they're that's what happened with me and Raja. They're too nice. They're da, 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 da. this, this, this. There's no way to people please. And like the other thing is that I don't necessarily need to be associated with this franchise anymore, honestly. Like after this experience, I'm like, I you guys can fucking keep it. Well, like, I loved that franchise and I love a lot of people there still. I'm just like I'm sorry. Getting like death was, threats no, and ho- and transphobia. Well, it's not worth it. No, it's absolutely not worth it because you guys, we were literally talking about garments 
and the narrative was just set that it was just like awful like it literally did not matter what we said I literally disagreed with you on 99% of them they're like just saying whatever Violet says like it was just already set I'm like I literally no, I don't even it. think like, I were literally, watching I don't we think were, they were either they were just like going off of what they saw on Twitter they're like, it doesn't even matter it was like, I was like I literally tooted it and the one I booted I didnn't like like I was the like, fact what that we're debating about? about a toot and a boot like well, made then, up a made, a made up, up word concept. Like, made up word it's ridiculous. and people are like literally calling me a woman no like, it's not worth it like baby trans- I'm trying to find my inner peace like I'm very Adele like I'm trying to yes. like get on a good path and like and do our own shit and it's like girl I'm literally like, fine without to- this like I w- thought it was just be fun to talk about our friends it was also and a lot of work it was like- a lot of work and I'm I was just I'm like we're sitting here getting like death threats transphobia like home like crazy the craziest shit I've ever seen no it's crazy like- having an opinion about whether or not we're allowed to have an opinion and other drag race girls were literally making monetized videos about their opinions on if we're allowed to have an opinion and posting their videos saying we're not and then making money off of their opinion about our, our opinions. opinions like <laughs> shut like, the fuck up i even told them i was like i don't care like take it down like delete the whole series and they wouldn't do it they paid us xyz x y and z money not we offered to give it back we all was like take the money back like take the videos down like i don't need this yeah it was just weird because i mean i've only been doing this for like a year but like so far in my career of this all like the fans have been super nice to me and like amazing yeah you've had a good run i've had such a good run and it's like i was watching that video i was like i'm not even saying anything mean i'm not doing anything fucked i'm like what is this and people were literally like i some of the comments i couldn't even believe and i like can't even repeat no it's because about me and like my like life and i was like what are you doing no i know what kind of a fucking moron are you? Every year this happens with this fandom. Death threats, racism, fat phobia, transphobia. It happens every fucking year. And people yeah. have issued statements. Like World of Wonders even said, like, online nice. bullying is not... Da, 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 da. Like, every year. Leslie, what's her face, stopped tweeting, live tweeting draggers because she can't... It's too much. Like, it's not yeah. worth it. What is up with the fandom? That was oh. the beginning of our tour. Pew, pew. Yeah, and so we were just, like, on the road trying to, like, navigate this tour, just being bombarded with, like... Kill yourself. <laughs> Literally. Like, oh my and we're god. Like, so should we go do the? Should we go on stage now? Like, no. Oh. It, yeah, I was like, oh my goodness. So it was a very interesting start. And uh, now you guys have to pay for it. So. <laughs> <laughs> now check that. But like one thing that happened that I think is amazing that I think some of our viewers might be able to take note from is that we partnered with Hims and Hers. We did. And it's a telehealth service, which basically helps people with mental health, hair loss, sexual health, um, and they can kind of provide what you need Mm-hmm. to make sure you're checking in with yourself, your mental health, which I know we need now. Oh, Jesus yes. Christ. Yeah, and they have like online literal professionals that are going to like help you and you don't have to video chat with them with I love because sometimes I'll like be in a bad place and I'll be like, I just need a therapist and they'll be like video chat. I'm like, exit right now. Like I'm not video chatting this person. So love that for them. Love that for us. And yeah, so that was a great, that at least helped like kick off the tour on a good note. My new pet peeve unlocked out of office oh emails. Oh my <laughs> fucking God. Girl, no one needs to know you're out of the office. You're I still going to respond if you're out of the office. I test it out and no one wants to see, oh, oh, oh. 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 Shut the fuck up. Like, ah, ah. everybody, please. Like, oh, no one knows you're in the God. office. No one knows. I can't see Are you on the live office? feed. Yeah, like just don't you respond. Like you're out of office. Uh. No, the worst is when you're on an email chain with like five, six people, right? Mm-hmm. So you reply all, and you're like, hey, da, 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 following up, kind regards, to and then you get seven bounce back emails out of office, out of office, out of office, out of office, and I'm like, I literally don't. Hair. Out of office emails is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but on a more positive note, I illegally got my name changed. Oh my god. Congratulations, Cade. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> Someone the other day was like, you're not nice, but like in a such a nonchalant way. To you. I, yes. Mm. 
in not such me. a nonchalant way that I would like as if it was like the Bible, like a fact. You're not nice. It's like, yeah, you're not nice. Um, <laughs> it's like mm, to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny. I don't like you. <laughs> it's funny because you're actually one of like the most like sentimental, like nice, like little. I don't even know the word. Like no, not I'm like just, mushy, but you're like definitely like oh, like don't do that. Like oh, and I'm like. Eh. No, I'm just honest. If I don't like you, I don't like you. Yeah, like HRH said, she was like, you know, if I don't like you, I don't want you to have rights. <laughs> if you're a little shit, I don't want you to have any fucking rights. I hate you. We love a problematic queen. She's and so she's the funny. queen of problematic she queens. She needs to be on No Gorge right now. We need to have her. I uh, fucking love her. Um, Another life update moment was your birthday. Mm -hmm. It's a big one. 40. 27. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a birthday party, really. And I threw a Violet a birthday party. Happy birthday party. It was amazing. Glamorous Monique sang me happy birthday. If you don't yeah. know who Glamorous Monique is, she's a fucking LA trans icon. Mm -hmm. 38 triple F. Oh, yes. Dolly Levi, another LA drag icon. My favorite drag queen of the world. She burned the building. Yeah, she did two numbers and it was amazing. Not me not booking anyone under the age of 60 for your birthday party. <laughs> I love it. I know, so well, young. Honestly, I'm like, I need more of those people in my life. Like even my dressmaker Vaughn is like, comes from like a different generation of gay people. And it's just like, it feeds my soul. Like I can't do the TikTok. I can't do all of these things. Like I can't see us queen slam on my house. Like I need like stories. I need like real experiences. I need like the old school queer mentality. And it's like, I just need that energy around me. I decided. I love the young people. Do you feel old? <laughs> Actually. Do you feel different? I do feel old. Really? Like I just since don't, the day, I literally or just like don't connect general. with youth culture at all anymore. Yeah. Hi there, young people. A nice day today. One thing that has been happening lately that I think is fascinating to get everyone's hot take on. People have been asking me my hot take, but I mm -hmm. want to hear yours. What are your thoughts on Kim K wearing the Marilyn Monroe dress to the Met Gala and the recent resurgence of the pictures had just come out? I literally kind of change my opinion all the time, mm -hmm. a little me bit. Too. I think my overall opinion, even if I lean one way or the other is like it's up to Ripley's what happens to it and it's like I agree. if we have a bad opinion we should have bought the dress I think 99% of the people having an opinion didn't even know that dress existed or was there or anything and now they're like learning and are upset for some reason I mean not for some reason I get why a lot of people are upset I mean it is upsetting to some degree and especially after seeing the photos I'm like oh but then at the same time when I'm looking at the photos I'm like did we not think that was gonna happen I mean the way they were putting it they're like <laughs> I know with gloves on <laughs> as if like as if, the gloves, <laughs> as if the gloves will help yeah and it's like everyone's being like, Kim would do this, like awful. I'm like, girl, she wanted to wear the dress she asked and they gave it to her. They did not have to do that. No. They sh probably shouldn't At have the done end it. of the day, like also they, Ripley's, who is going I to Ripley's believe it or not? I think that's my opinion. I say that I'm fine with it because Ripley's did it. It's like, if anyone's going to do it, it's cool, just, Kim, it, was a, it was a public auction. I don't like that Ripley's let her have it. I think they should have I kept agree. it. So I think it's blame Ripley's. I love that Kim wore it. But I Ripley's think it's fun, is a but business. Don't do that. Like, you think you Ripley's is like the sanctity wear. of the dress? Da, da, da. No, bitch. They need press. Who the fuck is going to Ripley's Honestly, museum? Honestly, I did not even know what Ripley's really was until this. So I works. drive by it every day on the way to your house. Oh, really? It's on Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, with the dinosaur? Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's right there? Yeah. We should go see the dress. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that look was on theme for Gilded Age of Glam. I mean, I guess what? Because it was glamour and because Marilyn Monroe's like one of the icons of glamour. The it whole was thing very, was very, because I, I thought it was think, America, the lexicon of fashion I again. thought it was America too. And they changed it. So maybe she went with that? <laughs> I think she was going with American glamour. And like, she was like, too late, babe. Too late. I got yeah. the dress. <laughs> 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 That is funny. Maybe that's what happened though. That's like, what probably is, what happened. I mean, like, that's very American. So we're basically we're saying Ripley shouldn't have done it, but we don't care because they did. They guess did. Guess what, Mimi? It's like, they okay, did. Yeah, I guess it's very, guess what, Mimi? They, they did. did. That's 100% my stance that, on it. Yeah. You know how much shit is on Marilyn's faces plastered on fucking, you can go to Ross and get a fucking picture of her. You guys should be more upset about that. True. Where is the Marilyn Monroe Foundation? That is a brief life update, but when we get into our story times about the tour, maybe the next episode, mm -hmm. you guys are gonna gag. Yeah. So I can't more. wait. 
I missed you. We missed you guys so much. Well, did we? Mm, depends. I want to see your comment history. <laughs> 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 I mean, you guys are getting it raw. This is what we talk about. Raw dogged. Raw dogged by Pilot and Mick. Hmm? <laughs> That's our new venture. Raw. Fucking rawing our fans. <laughs> <laughs> You in? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. Loves you so much. Bye, Gorge. Bye, Gorge. No, no Gorge. Gorge.